So in about a month or something, the MSI Creator Awards are gonna take place again. They asked me to kind of make a an example video for the contests to inspire the people that are going to enter. And I think that I really have to up my game right here to make something that stands out, I guess, to inspire. Now, my idea is to just kind of work with this uh, Edelkrone slider. These are actually three different motorized controllers, which I can control through an app. You can make some really stunning shots. I have some ideas in mind. I just hope that they're going to look good on screen as well, the same way as they do in my mind. This is the most sketchy shoot that I've ever done. So the next idea is that the graphical card kind of like floats out of the computer. And I'm gonna do this with four different shots, with the lid on it, uh, with the empty space of the computer, with the graphical card inside, and one where the graphical card is floating right here. So uh, hopefully this is gonna work. Now the amazing thing about motion control systems is that you can take multiple shots that have the exact same camera movement. The hairdressers in Belgium are still not open, okay? It's, it's starting to get its own life. Anyways, if you would place those four shots of the computer on top of each other, you can see how they perfectly blend. And this allows me to remove the wires, do some masking and transitions with After Effects, and the shot turned out great. Now I'm going for this blue energy, and to make the light of that more realistic, I added some lens flares from Storyblocks. They are sponsoring us today, so big thanks. But also thank you for the incredible library, because apart from lens flares, I can also find transitions or other overlay effects. And when I'm looking for more complex animations, I can download their After Effects or Premiere Pro templates. They are super easy to use, and that saves you time to create stunning videos. There are high quality 4K stock clips from various genres, and there's only a fixed single price per year, which allows you to download unlimited video assets. So you can try out different things without having to worry about extra fees. Now I can highly recommend to check it out, which you can do by clicking the first link in the description down below. So my idea is to make the same shot twice, and that way I'm able to kind of show the graphical card of the computer through the case. But that means that the two shots have to be exactly the same. So I have to be really careful putting this uh, side cover on the computer so that I don't move it. Now seeing the inside of the computer in one shot allows me to create a very cool effect where you would see the GPU through the side panel. But I also drew some masks over the blades of the fan to let them glow. And since the movement is motion controlled, we don't even have to track it. You can just simply animate the mask with one keyframe at the start and one on the end. And that's because we've got a constant speed. You know, and those glowing lines brought me a great idea. I made a shot where the camera slides over the GPU. One without the fan spinning and one with. Now interesting is that I actually had to use a leaf blower to make them spin because you will need to have to connect the GPU to the motherboard in order to make them actually spin. So uh, just be creative. Anyways, the transition of that shot turned out great. A simple fade between the two shots. But I also added that same glow effect. I started out by drawing a mask to follow each blade and as well as the MSI logo. And by adding the stroke effect in After Effects to it, you can animate those strokes and further tweak it to your liking, such as adding a glow. But pretty cool was to start the clip by only showing those animated lines in the dark and then fading into the actual GPU. So because we've got that reference of the blades, you get a perfect drawing. And you could basically do that with anything, which makes it really cool. Now this shot right here is actually super easy. I wanted the GPU to fly back into the PC, but I didn't have enough time left because Giludo's live streams on the Premiere Basics channel uses this PC, and it was live stream time. So instead of making it myself hard, I thought why not just shoot this straight up from the side. Two shots. One with the side panel on and one without. I simply cut out the cart with a mask and animated the scale and position to make it float more organic going into the PC and that's really it, nothing more. The side panel was also masked out from the other shots and I animated the position so that it would fly in. Super easy but I think that the result is really cool. And speaking of results, let's check out the entire video.
All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed that and that it also inspired you as well. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. And as always, stay creative. Pretty cool t-shirt, eh? Media Offline. We have a bunch of merch, guys. We also have waveforms. We got keyframes, everything. Go check it out. We also have mugs, hats, everything. Show off how big of a nerd you are. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody gets this t-shirt. You might think, did you forget to send your design over to the printing company? This came out. 